Hi guys, you might have seen a few videos related to this handmade voltage boosting circuit and this one most probably is going to be the last one related to this circuit. So guys, in this video I'm going to test this circuit for wind turbines. The motor that you see here is a low RPM 20 volts DC generator and I have connected the output terminals of this generator to the input terminals of the circuit. The overall circuit output will finally be connected to the terminals of the multimeter for measuring the amplified voltage. I have moved the pointer of the multimeter to 200 volts DC mode because the generator itself is rated at 20 volts and it is going to go beyond 20 volts because of the boost circuit. So guys as you can see as soon as I turn the generator shaft the multimeter starts indicating the generated voltage and even when I stop the turning of the shaft the multimeter still shows the voltage and does not go to zero because of the capacitor that is connected to the circuit which stores the charge generated by the generator. The indicated voltage of the multimeter will keep on increasing with the increase in hand rotation speed of the generator. The circuit is capable of adapting a wide voltage range of 1 volt to 32 volts. So guys as you can see the maximum hand rotation voltage that I could achieve because of the connected amplifying circuit was 50.6 volts DC and now I am going to test the generator for maximum hand rotation voltage without the circuit. So without the circuit, the maximum hand rotation voltage achieved was 14.2 volts DC and with the circuit it was 50.6 volts. So it is going to be around more than 3 times the generated voltage. Now a few of you will say that the increase in voltage will be at the cost of current because the power is constant and they will be right. But the fact is what is the point of having a 2 volts generator generating 100 amperes because if you connect a 12 volts load to it it will still not run so my point is uh, that when the speed of wind is very slow then the generated voltage will also be low so that generated voltage will be a waste so instead of doing that we can amplify that voltage and still utilize it at lesser power and when the speed of the wind turbine is attained the required voltage which is 12 volts or 24 volts it can automatically get switched back to the direct generation mode for utilizing the maximum possible current. Ok so guys as you can see with the circuit connected in between the generator was performing really good even at low rpm the LED strips were glowing bright but when the circuit is removed at the same rpm the lights are not glowing at all. So this means if the generator is operating at low wind speed then the voltage generation will be low and it won't be enough to operate any appliance so for that case we can use this type of circuit to enhance the voltage and uh, make it usable and guys of course we can connect an additional gearbox to operate the generator at low winds for generating the same 12 volts voltage or 24 volts voltage at low wind speed but turning the generator shaft when connected to a gearbox is much more difficult than turning it without a gearbox connected to it. So guys links for the previous videos related to this circuit will be provided in the description. So that would be all about the video. Thank you so much for watching it. Please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you.